we started with me welcoming you to the family. <laughs> Thank you. So let's just go back to that for a minute. So you said, well, first of all, I guess my question is like, why now? Like what, I mean, I'm not, not just tell me about this journey. Like why have you come so, out right yeah, now? Yeah, so like when we were filming, I think, you know, just for, I thought like when we were filming Identified as Bi, but kind of like a month or two before that, I kind of been starting to realize that I was like leaning more towards the side of like, maybe not bi, like maybe more to women. But then I wasn't like, you know, a hundred percent sure. And I, I think I'm like, I'm very lucky that I've had like a very supportive family. Like my mom has always wanted a gay child because she wants to go on the pride float. Um, and my dad and everyone like that, my grandparents are very supportive. But I think like for me, I always just assumed that life would go one way and that I would be one way. So then to like realize that actually, oh, maybe I'm like actually another way. Like I'm not very good with change. So I was like, okay, this is like, okay. Then when we were filming, I was kind of like realizing it. And then we got home into lockdown and you know, there's nothing to do but stalk social media and think. Um, and I was just kind of thinking about everything and like, you know, doing a lot of like internal searching. And it was kind of like one day I was like, okay, like, yeah, this is who I am. And then once I've like actually made the firm decision to like, to, to like, to come to terms, not come to terms with that, but to like, you know, realize that I felt like, it felt like the most right thing, I guess you could say that's like ever happened in my life. Um, and so then I was kind of like, fuck, well, now I've realized this and, you know, we're in lockdown and I can't like jump on Tinder and like, you know, explore this whole new side to me. Um, so that was a bit shit. Um, but yeah, but then as well, like I was really scared about coming out like when the show aired and things like that. Cause I was like, Oh God, are people just going to like think I'm doing this for attention or like, are they going to even believe me at all in the first place? Like kind of stuff like that. And so I was really worried about that. And so I'd had that post like for a couple of weeks now, just like in my drafts. And I was like, Oh, like, I don't know whether I should just not do it, but I felt like by not doing it, you know, all, obviously all my friends and family had known, but I felt like if I didn't actually like announce it to the world, that I was kind of living a lie and I didn't want to like, I didn't want it to, you know, people to think that it's okay to live a lie. So yeah, the other day I was like, fuck it. And I like press post and I was like, that's it. Um, and you know, and then Courtney basically said, you know, with the platonic sugar daddy thing, you basically just come out anyway. And I was like, oh yeah, true. <laughs> so then I was like, you know, fuck it. I'll just do it. Um, and yeah, and I did not expect the reaction at all. It was absolutely insane. I thought people would be like, you know, congrats, like if you live your best life, all that crap. Um, but yeah, it kind of went a bit insane. And I've oh, like the amount of support was actually, I was kind of a bit scared, but like 99.5% of people have been so supportive. You know, you get like the odd, like Trump supporter for Christians or all this shit, or like just Trump in general. That's like, oh my God, like being, you know, being gay is wrong and all that stuff. And I'm like, well, fuck you. Like, I feel sorry for people like that. Cause I think that's just a real lack of education. And they've probably been taught that when they grew up and all that. But, um, but yeah, it was a, it's been a very, very transformative year. 